with other achievements. Um, you'll see. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. So I should wait okay. here and let him get pressed. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go to the next room. I, I, need, I want you to check something. Okay. I think it's desk, uh, not 422, the behind. Right not, here? No, um, the other side. This okay, side. so it's not, it's not, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. 420. Where? No, not behind 418, the desk behind 418. 419? Yeah, click it, click the computer. Input received. There you go. All right, that's that's a build up to an ending. You gotta do it over multiple games. Oh. So it's just like gonna get it started for you. But where's the door? I want to do the door. Uh, Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Four thirty-four. Did it advance the story in any way? Four thirty. Okay, then I have to go back. Yep. Oh, please. Yeah, click it five times. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? <laughs> click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? <sighs> no, 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 no. I know we did it already, but it, it never gets old. Effort. A measly five clicks. Yeah. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the you kind know, of effort that warrants You can do this while he's talking and just cut him off. Ooh. Hmm. I have to say, so I'm like, still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a new Yeah, I'm spamming course. clicks. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. <gasps> How much is 50? A lot. No, no, wow. I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Yeah. I've clicked this at least. Ooh, great. Times. Now, go <laughs> click a few times on door 437. There you're set. 37. It's right by the door when you walk in. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <laughs> now, back to door number 437. Go back. I will make it. I shall complete run, this. Run, 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 run. <coughs> Let's see. How about you scream. click on, well, I don't know. The co All right, back the to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Are we? Yes. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. You're Four putting 16. it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few <laughs> clicks on door. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine. <laughs> Do that one again. For the copy machine. Where's the copy machine? It's in the, it's in the first room. Finish it off, yeah, Stanley! Right Five clicks on door! Yes! We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, That's amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Good yes, job. I'm very proud of how far we've come today. <laughs> Just think, only a few oh, minutes my. ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What wow. were you thinking? You thought an achievement was only worth five clicks. Wow. Mm. Okay. Now you really know what an achievement's made of. When Stanley came to a set uh, of two open rooms, this again? was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps <laughs> okay. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. How long have we been playing this? A while. while. Yes. Not too long. This room. Okay, I say we do one but more eager to get back finish. to business, okay. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, okay, so a oh. quick one. A quick one and so he detoured through here. the maintenance section, okay. walked straight ahead to the opposite no, door, the and got back on track. Yeah. 
If you want a quick one, go down the stairs. Yet there was not a single person okay. here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Never! It's this. It's probably right here. Think back there. It's through the door. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's nothing back there. But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his keep boss, walking, walking, admitting he had left his post through, through during work hours. But I'm listening to the audio. That. And in such keep a competitive walking. economy, why had he taken keep that walking, risk? Listen. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. I do believe everyone vanished. And then something occurred vanished. to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Wait. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange Star. observations. For example, okay. why couldn't he see his feet when he went <laughs> down? Why did doors close Look automatically down. behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, um, this is all I don't too know strange, how to this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion no, that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm oh my God. dreaming, he yelled. I have this no feet. This is all a dream. Oh, Where are my feet? Grief, Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His oh, co-workers were dreaming. actually That's why gone. I have no feet. Okay. He wasn't going to lose his yeah. job. He wasn't crazy after all. You're he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy Aww, this I while haven't I'm still many busy. buttons yet. So he imagined Isn't this whole game meant began to, be to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, Ooh. and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Wait. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Why? I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Oh, he your thought. dream, Stanley. <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? How? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Do I need Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility. Does it make a difference? Stanley no is as awake is right ending. now oh, as he's ever okay. been in his life. <laughs> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. But did the isn't. voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Oh my surely, God. surely, if he could just. I told you this game was meta. He would prove it. <laughs> he would prove that he was in control. Oh my that this God. was a dream. So he closed yeah. his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my You're job. You're never getting back to that Let job Let me continue now. pushing the buttons. Please, no. it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife Wait, my I have job. a wife? Wow, that's All a step I up. want is my life Excuse exactly me. the way it's always been. Did you been. forget about me? Are we not my married in Minecraft? My life is normal. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, my wife. Will be fine. <laughs> I am okay. But am I? Are you? <laughs> no. You're not okay. Stanley began screaming. Uh, Please, someone, wake me up. My yeah, name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. But then what happened? 
This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella That's woke better. up one day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her oh walk was God. interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought Wait, to herself how I'm lucky she was to be Mariella. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She Unless she's the next one. So it was only a moment that she stood there, Unless staring the down at the body. Stuck in this dream. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> Yeah, Let's... run away from the crazy man, Mariella. Just run. Okay, and then. And that's the ending. Let me check how good we are. Oh, office! Wait, 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 wait. We have to keep going. Just step, step, out of the office, step out of the office for two seconds. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Wait, Stanley this... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> This yeah. is a different. Yeah, it ha this this happens sometimes. Don't worry, it doesn't impact the story. Wait, he what? Just, this yeah, is so weird. This just happens. Okay, well I then. There, I think there. I think there's a possibility that there might be a specific ending to do with this office, but. I'm we, not I mean, we're only sure. at 30 minutes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. So here. Yeah, let's, end, let's end it here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let me just quickly get a. Uh, uh, how do I get a thumbnail or a snapshot? I mean, I can take a screenshot within the editing program, but. Okay. Step back a bit. Wait, step back. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Yeah, okay. So. Thank you, Earthlings, for joining us today for some Office Mind Games. Don't know if that's what I'm going to title the video, but you know. And we will see you next time we upload.